Good morning, guys. I don't know if you could see me with the sun. We are in beautiful Delaware. Yeah, we're in Delaware. <laughs> we are currently at a harvest host. We're at a church. We are. We got here last night. Sorry, we haven't filmed in a while. We've been we've been busy between selling the car and the dolly. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are at a church in beautiful Delaware. We're right across from a cornfield. We got here last night. Really quiet stay. The dogs absolutely love it here. I had them on the lead running around. This place is huge. They do um, disc golf. So, that, so that's what those are over there. It goes all around the property. I took Cody out last night and they have a beautiful uh, like wildflower field over there and then they have a beautiful garden on the other side with huge watermelons growing in so I thought that was pretty cool to see I do like to take pictures of like flowers and nature and stuff like that so I'll probably come back out without them and take some pictures and I'll upload that onto my uh, social media onto our Facebook and Instagram uh, I want to apologize for not uploading in a while we've been pretty busy between selling the car and the dolly and getting everything ready for the new vehicle that we got which you guys will see later on in this uh my easy in this video what's up guys it's my turn to vlog i guess we took a ride so we parked up <laughs> we parked up at a uh at a gun range we so we left the rv over there uh, at a harvest host. It's a gun range. It's a pretty cool place um, 35 bucks gets you water and electric we, And they, the reason why we paid for it is because they wanted Generators that are on board and I am not dealing with the whole RV shaking and rattling with that on board So our on board shakes and rattles the whole RV and I'm not dealing with that Plus it's very temperamental and I don't need us to be out and God forbid something happens to it And then the AC and everything shuts off but we have AC, so at least I would kind of like trip it, the AC on. But once it gets dark, you know, we start draining power quick with the solar panels. So, the batteries. yeah, the batteries. So we're on the boardwalk in Ocean City, Maryland. And look at this. Look at those kites. They're huge. That's what she said. That's what she said. Yep. Oh, you beat me to it. <laughs> look, they even got Peppa Pig. <laughs> Let's get a closer look at these, they're pretty cool. Looks like this is the uh, Ocean City, Maryland tram. Look at these kites. I don't know if you guys can tell how big they are, but they are huge. Way bigger than like a normal kite. Well, that's a good view, huh? You just got a hotel right there and you got the beach. Oh, so no one's even like I came here for the food holding them down nah. no like yeah they're down. just weighted down nobody's walking with them hmm. it's really strange it's nothing like I've ever and look at the rope the rope is like boat line rope it's thick I want to sit on that black one yeah go jump on it can you lower it for me yeah let me, let me go bring it down for you hold on <laughs> well then waste any time on these shirts that one this is Ocean City Oh, it's a lizard. That's cool. I didn't see. Oh, it does say it. That's right there. Got some hermit crabs over here. Oh, I see this one. Yeah, this one right here. Right here is alive. Oh yeah, that's one right here too. A little scratched up. We had a lot of them. A lot of different shells. Yeah. Then you can buy them in other homes and little hermy huts. I used to have a whole bunch when I was younger. Yeah. Oh, and we got a magnet. This is the one that we decided to get. Oh yeah. You got a ton of stores, guys. Store after store after store. Yep, pretty much the same thing. And they'll just take your money and they'll harass you until you buy something. Right, Sam? No, we didn't get bothered when we were in there. No, not yet. By the way, sorry for the noise. But they made some sand murals here. It's pretty cool. The love of Jesus. So I guess they're all religious. Yeah, they're all religious. All are welcome. The wise men. We got Jesus over here in a heart. And right here, you can leave tips for them if you like what you see. 
step into the water to do this. I was watching our friend Diana's video the other day, and they got lemonades, and they look so damn we don't good. Get a cool cup like they yeah, do their though. cup was awesome looking. But I've, ever since then, I've been craving a lemonade. <laughs> for $10. $10 for a lemonade. But, you know, when you crave it, you crave it. I'm not pregnant or anything, but sure? I really wanted it. We're trying hard. <laughs> well, I gotta say, if there was ever a badass wind chime, this, this would be it. We got a whole bunch. I like the turtle. Turtle's cool. Oh, the pineapple? Yeah. You got fish. They got a whole bunch. Flamingo one is cute too. Yeah. Let's go for Florida. Yeah, or well, the pelican even. Yeah. Well, this one with the palm trees, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> Sam found her store. It's a hippie store. <laughs> slash Jesus loves store. That's what it says all over the place. We got a whole bunch of crystals and a whole bunch of stuff. Nice. That's what I love about quartzite, is that it's stuff like this, and I mean, I, I, I feel at home when I'm there. We have a whole bunch of stuff here. Look at the ceiling. Yeah. Oh yeah, my favorite part of the boardwalk. The arcade! So many games. Alright, we're gonna get a card and preload it. That's how they do things now. No more quarters. Alright, we got our card. Sam wants to try for a little Ocean City, Maryland turtle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Oh, this one take, really? Right here. Oh, I was gonna say. So this one does take quarters and dollars. I didn't know that. Uh, so you just take your barcode and you swipe it. And it doesn't work. Oh wait, did it work? Nope. It says quite zero. Oh, there we go. Am yeah. I doing it or you? You want to try it? You try it. So if I fail... How about that green one? Green one. Bobbles all over. Go over. Is that good or no? Yeah, time. Uh, I would try it from there. No? I would try it. Can I put it right here? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. oh my godness. Really? I have to swipe this again. Oh god. It's so close. I'm telling you, we're gonna do it. We're gonna waste all our money on this. Yeah. I only had three dollars in singles, so that's all we put on it. We gotta go barcode that way. Yeah. Does that go? Yeah. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Okay, you hold that. I'm sure this one's rigged too though. Alright. Wow, a dollar you get one credit for these little things? What should I get? I, you I don't think I'm gonna be able to get him. I feel like I'm gonna hit. The closest. How's that, how that look? Uh, can you go any more to the left? No, or? that's it. Yeah, I can go for something else then. How about this purple little bear? Oh, oh. Man. wow. Wow. <laughs> I've actually been thinking about getting a Hoktua shirt. It's been on a thing. Do you think this belly shirt would look good on me? I feel like it would really like, I feel like it would really like accent my, oh my God, there's a lion right there. Or a tiger. Oh my God, it almost got us. Did you see what, that? You didn't even know what it was, it almost got you. Yeah, I was too afraid. <laughs> oh gee, I choked on that lemonade. Oh my God, it's a beached whale. Oh, it's just Sean, Never mind. You are so funny. <laughs> just, just hysterical. You're just a clown. So we got all the rides over here. I don't want to film too much because the kids are over here. YouTube doesn't like kids on YouTube. I get it. They got, you know, privacy rights too. All right, now we passed them. That Ferris wheel looks pretty cool, Sam. Yeah, 
and they got the mousetrap um little roller coaster ride i want to check that out too whole bunch of stuff you can go broke walking around this place and get really fat because it's nothing but fried greasy fat foods We're already fat which fried. smell delicious by the way just saying I'm gonna put this guys my new sunglasses look good on me <laughs> what do you think sam oh yeah no okay i think they look pretty good i totally get all the babes all right made it over to the rides so from two to seven you can get a unlimited ride wristband for 33 bucks I don't think we're going on that many rides, so I want to see how many tickets the Ferris wheel is and how many the mousetrap is. I think that's the only rides we're going on, right? Alright guys, hopefully you can hear me. Stop into a Mexican restaurant. Oh yeah. got a drink. This place is pretty cool. So, we're going to go on the rides, but they're like... $70 for two wristbands and we can only go on like two rides. The rest of them were like kitty rides. So we're like, eh, sorry. Right. Can you tell some music in the background? Yeah, I hope this music isn't copyright, but I can't understand a word they're saying since it's in Spanish. So uh, <laughs> there's that. Sam, your drink looks pretty good. Is that good? Very strong. Oh yeah, check out that food. I got the chicken tacos, gringo style they call it. I don't know. And then Sam got, what do you get, beef? Yeah. Got beef, same thing, gringo style. We are gonna be farting tonight. Because we're very white. We don't try hot sauce. <laughs> Actually, I am gonna try hot sauce. They got uh, Texas Pete, and then they got the original Cholula hot sauce. So I'm gonna give that a go. I just don't wanna be walking around and I gotta run to the bathroom, you know? <laughs> guys the moment you've all been waiting for the reveal of our brand new toad what do you think sam it's pretty sexy ain't she? i'm not talking about me i'm talking about the truck i mean <laughs> as we're going down the road we're literally fighting off bitch women <laughs> women i mean like we're pushing them off they're Bitches trying to get in and a whole bunch of different area codes. you gotta see them they're like oh my god it's so sexy it is it is a really really nice truck when i saw this color on the road a while back i was like yeah, I need that. Um, so this is a 2024 Ford F-150 STX with the blackout package. Avalanche uh, gray is the color. Yeah. So it's sitting on 20 inch rims. The blackout package makes the wheels black, the grill black, all the trim accents black. And the running boards. Right, the running boards, the black uh, F-150 STX decal, the door handles. Uh, oh, and the front Ford blue oval, which is, it's normally blue, on this it's black, and it looks pretty mean. So, in this truck, we have a 2.7 liter twin turbocharged V6, pushing out 325 horsepower, 400 uh, foot-pounds of torque, and uh, she moves pretty damn good, especially for her size and weight and she gets about over 650 miles per gallon yep it's pretty close almost almost 700 miles to a tank holds 36 gallons um in the city she gets about 1920 miles per gallon in the highway it's closer to like 24. so for a full-size truck that weighs 5,000 pounds it actually does really well uh and the stats are pretty impressive and we've done our research when we were looking at Obviously, you guys knew we were getting a truck. Most of you already figured we were. A lot of you thought we were going to get the Maverick. Maverick, the Ranger. Um, we wanted something with a bed. That's why we didn't get a Jeep or anything like that because we live off grid. Right. And we want to get the big water totes to be able to fill up water. And, you know, having a big bed like this, we could do that. Now, unfortunately, this truck does not come with a bed liner stock. Oh, guys, you don't want us to get started on that. And. I was supposed to have a bed liner installed. They waited last second to the day I picked it up. Um, and they were telling me that the bed liner is not in stock. It won't be in stock till August 5th. Well, I picked this truck up in Jersey. 
we were not going to be there August 5th. So um, I'm going to have to wait. And a lot of people were like, oh, get a spray in and this and that. I don't know. I kind of want the slip in. I like that if I beat the bedliner up down the road, you know, from constant years of abuse, I can just kind of pull that one out and put a new one in. Can't really do that if you do a spray in. And I'm not sure how it would look if I just started spraying over it. It would probably just start to look like garbage. And another reason why it took us so long to upload a video <clears throat> is that we were waiting for this color. The dealership that we went to didn't have this color in stock. The dealership that we went to the first time that had it in stock, we just didn't vibe with the salesperson. And it was not the blackout package. It looked no. different. And when I we went to this other place, our salesperson was perfect and i told sean this is how it's supposed to be a salesperson is supposed to work for you not the other way around so we had a great experience with them uh besides the bedliner thing uh, he came through yeah so i did go ahead and order the truck this was on their dealer websites as in transit which means they're expecting the delivery it was supposed it was to be here it's cutting it close it was supposed to be here between the 21st and the 26th for some reason, that truck, that truck driver who was transporting it on a, on a flatbed or whatever, on a semi-trailer, it just was not moving. It was sitting in PA, and they didn't know when he was going to deliver it. So he ended up finding a, another one at another dealership, and they did a dealer swap. So they basically traded this truck for another vehicle. I'm not sure which, but... We had no time to waste. We had to take yeah, this. Same had, exact truck. It had 60 miles on it. We, yeah, they drove it from... We what, weren't too happy about that, but no. the, our salesman was like, listen, to be honest, he's like, I don't think it's going to get here in time by the time you guys have to leave. And we had so much stuff to do before we had to leave that we were like, you know what, let's go look at it. We looked at it, fell in love with it, drove, drive like a dream. And it drives so much better than Green Bean. Like that car yeah. is so loud when you drive, when like, you know, when we vlog in it. We had the hub and yeah, go bad. Yeah, just issue so. after issue. We wanted brand new. We didn't want anyone else's issues. We're under warranty, <clears throat> which we need. We rely on this. It brings us to, you know, to do stuff that we just did today. Yeah. So I did put a six year, 150,000 mile warranty on it. Ford's warranty isn't the most impressive compared to like Kia or Hyundai where theirs is 10 years, 100,000 miles. Ford's is uh, three years, 60,000 miles. So I extended it quite a bit, especially with all the mileage that we do. I was talking to the sales guy and he was telling me how he just had his infotainment center, um, like Apple CarPlay and all that stuff, replaced because it was glitching from like 2021. $5,500 to replace just that, guys. And just imagine how much it is now for a newer truck like ours. We're going to bring you guys inside. And what's crazy is going from the green bean to this is how technology, it just advanced so much. We're not used to it. And the size. Yeah. I mean, we drive the RV, that's 31 feet, but just driving like your private car every day, it's... You can't, this isn't as quick as Green Bean. Like Green Bean, we were Well, like maneuvering to... wise, this yeah. is a lot faster than Green Bean. But, but like, like you can't weave... But wise and going around people and yeah. stuff like that was a lot easier than this. <laughs> yeah, this, this takes a lot more maneuvering. Yeah. Um, now, I know a lot of you were concerned about the weight with the RV. I did look in the owner's manual that I was lucky enough to get when I bought this RV. Our gross carry weight rating, which is the RV, cargo, and towing max is 20,000 pounds. Um, that's with the V10. I am 14,500 just with the RV. That means I have 5,500 pounds to play with um, towing wise. This truck weighs 4,900 pounds. <laughs> and my ATV that I want to put in the bed when we go to Quartzsite or wherever we go, if we want to bring it somewhere else, weighs 600 pounds. We are at 20,000 pounds loaded. We are, we are just, that's, that's where we're at. So, um, we are going to get it weighed. Um, once we get down to Florida, we have so much crap in this RV. Yeah. I think it's time to unload a lot yeah, of crap. We've been gone f since April. So I, you know, I like my little trinkets and I buy some stuff. I went a little bit overboard. So there's a lot of crap in the RV that needs to come out and burned. No, <laughs> you're going to go in with it. 
<laughs> so I feel like once we do that, empty everything out, I would like to have, and this attached to the back, I want us to get a more accurate reading to make sure that we really are 100% good. But we drove this from Jersey and we are in Delaware right now and we are fine. It's good. Knock on wood, we're fine. Yep. You definitely feel more weight, obviously, yes. behind... We're not going to lie about that. ...behind the RV compared to Green Bean. So with Green Bean and the tow dolly, which weighs 600 pounds, uh, or 700, I think it's 700, uh, we were at about 3,000 pounds. This truck is 5,000 pounds, so we're towing an additional 2,000 pounds. Um, so you definitely feel it. However, it's not... When you go down the highway, it floats. It floats like a Cadillac. There's when no... you go up a hill, it's the same amount of speed going up a hill as if Green Bean was on the back Right, of it. so we went up the we're Delaware... The Delaware Memorial Bridge, Ooh. if you're familiar with it, it's, it's quite it's quite steep. It's not like a mountain. It's not like that Tampa one, the Skyway Bridge. Yeah, but it's, it's quite steep. And she did really good. Like, she pulled it up well. Now, going up, you know, like 7,000 feet, you know, like, say, through the Arizona Mountains or... Tennessee mountains or you know something like that she's probably gonna struggle yeah. but we don't really go that too far north so we like when we go to Arizona to Quartzsite we're gonna ride I-10 I-10 is pretty pretty flat for the most part there might be a couple slight hills but nothing nothing too crazy I think the highest is maybe like a thousand or fifteen hundred feet in elevation so we should be more than fine and we would never risk ourselves or anybody on the road so right. keep that in mind we wouldn't put anybody at risk or ourselves plus we this have the brake we have the brake buddy in there so that helps stop the truck um the one issue i will say we are having this 2024 f-150 for some reason blue ox which is my tow system uh that hooks up to the front they don't make a plug and play kit to run the tail lights and brake lights and blinkers so um when i had the company install the tow bar on the front and all the electrical um he gave me two options he said you can either we can either splice into your brand new truck's electrical system and add they, they make a kit it's a universal kit for blue ox but you have to do some slicing splicing um and I, I really didn't feel too comfortable with that especially as a brand new truck i didn't want to mess up the warranty or anything so i i said screw that he ran a four flat cable from the front to the back and he made this L um, thing like out of tow hitch steel. And uh, he put two brake lights on, you know, two lights on it. So I have a right and a left blinker. And, um, and it works as a brake light and, and four ways, just as if these were. So it's kind of an inconvenience a little bit because I have to keep putting it in and out, in and out. Yeah, if we want to open the You know, it's not as quick as just kind of plugging it in from the front of the RV. But it works. And, uh, you know, like I said, we're really happy with the truck. Sam's going to, I guess, show you the inside. So with Green Bean, with the dogs, which is very unsafe what we did, but we let the dogs free roam. Well, Cody would shove himself under the seat, which that still isn't good. And Milo would just stay in the back seat without a harness or anything attached to a seatbelt. We didn't want to do that in this. I don't want their dog hair everywhere. So we invested in car seats for the dogs. Yep, there. One each. Yeah. It hooks into the seatbelt and over the headrest. Yeah, so you can see they're hooked here. We don't have the seatbelt yeah, one in right now. Yeah, it's a lot tighter. But it goes yeah. through this back loop right here, and it'll, it just kind of slips in, and then you, you click it into the seatbelt over there. I'll upload a photo on Instagram to show you guys that they're happy in it, which I'm really surprised. Well, Milo, I'm really surprised he's okay with it. He knocks right out. He yeah. goes right to bed. So I bought this off. I bought these off of Amazon, and I bought this off of Amazon. This will come up and cover it and you could hook it up over here but we don't have like a handle so we're just going to zipper it up because with milo he sheds like crazy so if i keep this down all his hair will just start collecting on here and, and we'll, we don't want that and when we park and he knows we're somewhere he gets yeah. very excited and he'll start to like hit this and so i don't want him scratching all this plastic and yeah. stuff so this will guard it and stop that from doing that. But actually, since he's been in these, he hasn't really done that. He'll move around, but he won't. He doesn't try scratching. Yeah. At least not yet. We only took them out when we went to go visit family. We'll see what happens if we take them out on a joyride. But yeah, tons of space in here. Really like it. I mean, this this is a super crew cab, so it's a really wide crew. It's it's really heavy. Um, plenty of space. It's really heavy. It's really high. Really high. <laughs> this is flat all the way through. There is no hump in the middle like a lot of cars have for like the transmission or whatever it is so you can flip those seats up and you have flat storage space all the way through it's really nice it's a really nice feature yeah yeah so we're gonna go into the front now 
Also, now I got one of these little fancy gas fill caps with no cap on it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. for people to just steal our gas? Yeah, just steal my gas. Come by. So, oh, I want to show them this. Hold on. I got to wait till it stops. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So, you can, what's so advanced about this, which is, I mean, to you, it might be like, oh, okay. But for this, you could change, like, your lock settings. Like, you know how you have to unlock it twice to unlock everything? So, there's a screen where I'm able to just hit it once and it opens up for everybody, not just the driver's seat. So, when you open it, when you go to that screen right there, it will show you the truck. It's flickering on your end, but it's not flickering on mine. It's because of the LED screen. I mean, the whole panel is LED screens, guys. There's no more manual clusters and stuff. They're, they're just doing away with all that. So let me get in there and I'll let you guys hear her purr. And I'll show you guys. Do you want to come around on the passenger side so you can show them what the screen looks like? Sure. So we're going to turn her on. The car, not me. <laughs> I already did that. Well, it's uh, like I say with good looking. We have, uh, you got Sirius XM. Usually like six months to a year when you buy a new car, so we're listening to Howard Stern. So you get a whole big screen, and you have your CarPlay, so you can hook up your maps and whatever other, whatever apps you have on your phone, it will pull up on here, which is really cool. Like, yeah. you know, we're not used to that. We could ask it the weather. I mean, yeah, you could say, Ask it the weather, Sam, real quick. Oh, sharper. Press that button. What's the weather like? The current weather for Millsboro, Delaware. That's is crazy. Sunny. <laughs> that is so cool. And then you can cool, scroll man. down and she'll tell you, you know, for the rest of the week if it's going to rain and stuff like that, which is going to be thunderstorms tomorrow, which is great. We just washed the car. <laughs> yeah. So there's so many features. There's lane there's lane departure, collision warnings. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's overwhelming. It's a lot I'm, of stuff. I'm still learning a lot of it. Um, the... the tow hole mode is all digital it does everything like i mean you do it but it does it like electronically you don't have to like i don't know i don't know it's just it's just really cool when we put when we tow the car behind the rv we have to go to a certain setting which we can show you guys next time is we go into tow you hit menu and then you go over to settings i'm not going to do it it's called neutral tow yeah. mode and you just click on that you have to put the car you have to put your foot on the brake you have to put in neutral put an accessory and it does the whole thing it itself. sounds like a lot but once you get once you do it a couple times it's just kind of it's pretty yeah, quick you do it in like under a minute which i'm really surprised like that was the whole issue that we had with that other dealership that they didn't know and the dealership where we bought this he didn't know either but he said let's go into the truck and learn which is you know what you're supposed to do also what we don't like about the one thing we don't like about this truck is that when you're sitting at a light or you stopped for a second the car temporarily turns off it has auto oh start stop auto so start stop you can hit this and the car, I mean, I don't have the air And you on. can disable it, and the car will just yeah. stay on at like a red light or whatever. I, I think it just puts more wear and tear on everything, the starter and, and everything else. It's, we are nervous that it's going to, like, mess with the alternator and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and I just can't see it saving that much fuel. I just Yeah, because the AC is still running, but it's just not it's, as, it's not pumping as cold. Well, the, yeah, it's just blowing the fan. Yeah. And then over here, I'll show you. Is as you can see how you know digital it is, which is crazy. Is that right there? It's miles to E, and then you know the stuff right there is how many miles we have. And then when we're driving, if we go over too much, this will turn red. And like I said, all you have to do is just hit this button, and it'll disable that. But it's pretty cool to have in case you know you don't know how to stay in the lane if you don't know how to drive that well. <laughs> but if you start, if you hit the lane and you have the lane departure warning on. The wheel will turn to the op to the like away from the line for you. And it'll you. vibrate too to let you know that you're going that you went over too much. Yeah. So yeah. there's a lot of like tech. A lot of tech. Yeah, in here, which we're not used to, but it's pretty cool. And then we have our USB, and then we have our USB C. We have different drive modes that you could do, and then it'll show it on here. Like every time you turn it, it'll tell you like what you're doing and what it's made, what it's for. Yeah, transferring from two wheel to four wheel high and low. It's all electronic now. You just turn a knob and you go. And if you're towing a trailer, there's also a setting here and it'll show it in the corner that you're towing a trailer. And it will even show a trailer attached to the car in the little picture that's in the front. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's pretty wild, guys. It's, <laughs> I like this little cubby, too, because I feel like I could jump in the truck if I have something quick in my hand, if I don't want to throw it in, in here, which has tons of storage, by the way. And it's locked. We didn't check yet to see, like, if there's supposed to be certain keys or not. Guys, look at all the storage in this thing. Yeah. Look how deep that goes. And you could put a safe in here um, that you can mount in here, and it gets bolted down. So if you carry, like, a gun or something like that on you, you could drop a gun in there, lock it up, safe. A lot of states... Especially northern states, um, they have compliance policies where if you're going to leave your gun in the car, it has to be locked up. Can't just leave it like in a glove box or something. So that's an awesome feature to have. Plenty of cup holders. This holds your phone. More cup holders. And in the back, which is nice, in Green Bean, we didn't have vents in the back. So we were the only ones in the front feeling the air. Even though it was a small car, it's the air was only was stopping right near us so it wasn't even going into the back to the dogs so what's nice is that there's vents back here there's a mesh right here so they could still see us we could see them and the air can go right through the mesh which is really nice and now on the screen what i did for you guys is that this is the backup camera which is really nice for us too and we don't have to have the truck in reverse yeah so like i can turn it off right now yeah so if we're driving down the road i'm telling a trailer um, we could, and we want to check on maybe the hitch or whatever the case is. We could or just see push. how close someone is tailgating to us. Yeah. <laughs> So I could just press that button and check it out. Yeah. Um, this truck also has Wi-Fi. You can get a Wi-Fi plan. Um, I don't think I'm going to do it, but you can get a Wi-Fi plan. That way, if you have passengers in the car, they can use their tablets, their laptops, connect their phone, whatever. The I mean, it's really neat. Oh, we got to show you guys this, too. Let's turn this off and get out so we can show you guys this. Do you have your phone on you? I do. Oh, I and do. also, too, what we like about this is that it always pops up to check for your rear seats for yeah. any occupants. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll, apparently some people forget their kids in the back. Yeah, I'll never forget my kids in the back. <laughs> Mine bark too much. So when we were done with the paperwork and all the boring stuff, he's like, oh, you have to download this app for, uh, I think it's, what is it called, Ford Pass? Yep. Yeah, it's called Ford Pass. And this is what it will look like. So right, as you, the vehicle is parked, we, I hit that. I don't know if you guys saw you guys it. just saw it? Right, I'll do it again. I'm going to hit unlock. You guys can't hear it. Oh, there, there it goes. Go. And guys, if I want to, if I want to remote start it, if we're inside the RV, anywhere or, in the world, guys, can I can this start on. this truck. This runs by satellite. Yeah. So if somebody steals our car, we have a GPS notification to know where it is. We used this to find out where we were parked while we were in uh, Ocean City, Maryland. Show them the map. Oh, I didn't know you can kill it. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. All right. So location. I just learned something new with you guys. And then you click directions. Yeah. Usually we do Google Maps. Now, and since we're going to be walking, you just click start. Now we're right here already. But yeah. if you go back, go back just to where it shows where it is. I won't let me know. Go back to get out of this. Swipe up. Go to Ford Pass. So we're here at range time. That's the harvest house we're at. Um... And you can see, we're right here. The truck is parked right there. And uh, it'll even give you the address that it's at. Sometimes it'll give you GPS coordinates. This I never messed with, but you can turn on the horn and the lights. I'm not going to do it here because it's very quiet and there's people over there. Um, but uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's just... I'm assuming that's for, like, if you know if you're inside the rig or somewhere and you see that someone is by your truck, that you could hit that and scare the crap out of them. Maybe. So I just want to show you guys this on the front. This is our Blue Ox tow bar. Um, this one is rated up to 7,500 pounds. They do make a 10,000 pound version, but this truck is only sitting at 5,000, so the 7,500 is more than enough. This system, I, I really like it because it's kind of hidden. Sam, if you'll hold this for a minute, I just want to show them how hidden it can be. We'll show you guys on the back. And of this is on too. other trucks too. On these Ford trucks, it's really easy to install this stuff because what they basically do is they remove the front tow hooks on either side and they install these in its place. So these hook onto the uh, Blue Ox bars on the back of the RV. But if you don't want these bars sticking out, you want to go a little bit more covert. All you have to do is push this pin, twist it, and it pops out. And you can see that just goes flush with it. And it looks a lot neater, a lot cleaner. And uh, you don't have to worry about maybe pulling, maybe you're, you park closely to something. Yeah, you that's what to... I'm worried about. It's part, we usually back into a spot. Yeah. We're but... very nervous about <laughs> But it's a nice Talking option lots. to have, and it, like I said, it makes the truck look a lot cleaner. So if you don't flat tow a lot, and this thing is so much easier when it comes to 
unhooking. Like we parked over there, like we stopped right there because we didn't know where they wanted us. And it was in less than five minutes, we had this unhooked from the RV. These connect to those pins that you saw that are in the front of the truck. Right. So a very easy connection. It took, we were nervous a little bit at first because we've never done something like this, but we watched a video and within two seconds, we pulled the truck up. Connected. I don't know about two seconds, let's be honest. It probably took me about 20 minutes to, oh, did it? to learn the first time. Oh, yeah. Really? Well, it felt quick. Yeah, because I was paranoid and I was making sure the, because these bars move in and out if you turn, if you pull this up or push it down rather, um, they'll move in and out so you can kind of make this whole system smaller for storage. Um, so I wanted to make sure they rolled it out. I wanted to make sure they were locked. I didn't want the truck to come lunging forward. So, I, you know, and then I was worrying about the electrical system here. So also I installed a full length mud flap. Yes, that, this was a whole big This was a pain in the ass. Um, As you can see, we had to put zip ties up because underneath the RV, we don't have much to attach to. Yep. So when I was driving, when we left the campground, we we didn't, we had to leave early, well, not early, but we had too much to do in so little time. So we had to leave, we had to check out. So when he saw me driving, he noticed that the wind was pushing one side of the mud flap and it was putting a lot of tension on it. Yeah. And there's nowhere for me, for us to drill in for the side, you know, mud flap. So unfortunately we had to ghetto it and put zip ties. Listen, it's cheap, it works. If the zip tie breaks, you put another one on it. Yep. I got this from Ace Hardware. Ace Hardware. I got the thickest ones they have. These are heavy duty. They hold up yeah. to 175 pounds. And they're indoor outdoor. So make sure that if you need zip ties for anything, make sure you buy for whatever climate you need it for. Because they do make indoor only. Because we we're thinking about getting white, but they said the white was only indoor only. And it holds up a good amount of weight. I think 100, 175 pounds. 175 pounds. Which is more than this thing weighs. Yeah, so. but this thing, we had to butcher this thing. This I cut it with a chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> this RV sits so low that the mud flap would have dragged really bad. I had to cut probably four or five inches off the bottom and about two inches off the top. Yeah, so it took us it took us a minute to really be able to get this into working order. And the first two U bolts that I bought that I that this is primarily being held up with um, to the hitch, they were too short. They wouldn't go all the way above the tow bar frame. So I yeah. had to go back to Home Depot and get. Uh, longer ones and uh, that was it worked. Yeah, it worked. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video I know we're gonna get comments saying about the weight and all this other stuff and like I said we looked into this We did our homework. We're really happy with this purchase. We hope you guys enjoyed this video We're gonna be pumping out more videos now since now we're not like on a time crunch and how to wait for things uh, we are slowly making our way down to Florida. We're going to the Outer Banks, so that'll be in the next video. We are also a little nervous too because there's a tropical depression that's forming in Florida. So keep an eye on that if you're around that area. But we're going to have to, you know, maybe change some things around if we do, if it does appear. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We hope you liked coming to Maryland with us and seeing Ocean City. And up. Oh, I should I tell them the name of the truck? Yeah. <laughs> We probably should have started off with that, but we would like to introduce you to Storm. What about the Stormtrooper? No. No? What are we, the Ghostbusters? I kind of like that, the Stormtrooper. Storm Trooper. Get in the Stormtrooper. Go, there's a storm coming. <laughs> no, I, no? I guess can... let us know in the comments, but I think Storm. Is... I kind of like the Stormtrooper. He, he, she, oops, I called it she. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> he wanted Stormy, but I'm not Kim Kardashian. I ain't even... Now I like the Stormtrooper, though. I guess let us know in the comments, but I like Storm. The girl getter. The girl getter. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Fuck <laughs> I'm going to put that on the back. Spit on that thing. Guys, you won't believe how many shirts that had that saying. I showed them in the, oh, in the yeah. video, yeah. Like, that's crazy how one I little saying them. made this girl viral. I know. I got to think of stupid things to say, too. Mm. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> Wish us luck on the truck. Send me a dollar so I can put it up in the dashboard. Maybe fill the gas tank. <laughs> <laughs> it's the When we bought the truck, they filled it for us, and he said it was around 150 bucks. No, 125. Oh, 100, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, don't exaggerate. Okay, 125. Yeah, calm and down. That's New Jersey. Don't make I, it any worse. It has I to don't be. know how much gas is in Florida. Usually it's about like the same. There's not much of a difference. So yeah. 125 bucks compared to 40 bucks of green bean. <laughs> But we get uh, a lot more. Mileage. I get about two and a half times the distance than Green Bean did. Yeah. Anyway, all right, guys, I'm gonna put it <laughs> on this video because it's getting really long. I hope you guys are doing great, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.